leading economies are all based on science, engineering and technology. For South Africa to be successful in the 21st century, the country has to stay ahead of other developing countries. For any nation to succeed, it needs to have competent, highly skilled people, the engineers, scientists, doctors, teachers, accountants and IT specialists, all driving the wheels of its economy. Leading multinational petrochemical company, Sasson Limited, together with the Grahamstown Foundation, share this belief and understand the need to invest in our youth to stimulate the desire to know and learn about the world of science and technology from a very young age. It is a vision of growing the nation through maths, science and technology. With the continued backing of Sasol, the Grahamstown Foundation has created a high-profile national event to promote a culture of science in a very festive way. This is Sasol SciFest. Over the last 10 years, Sasol SciFest has succeeded in changing the mindset of thousands of children. With Sasol's help and those of like mind, it has perfected this festival of festivals with the continued and ever-growing respect of those involved in science festivals worldwide. Over the years, it has drawn many of the most esteemed personalities in their respective fields of study. People such as Dr. Tebe Rodney Midupe of the South African Astronomical Observatory, Professor Shiv Viswanathan of the Center for the Study of Developing Societies in Delhi, Professor Susan Greenfield, Director of the Royal Institution of Great Britain, Professor Dibel Lonyogong of Rhodes University, Professor Lewis Wolpert of University College London, Professor Anusha Chimsamituran of the University of Cape Town, Nobel laureate Sir Harold Croto of the University of Sussex, Nobel laureate Sir John Salston, retired director of the Senga Center, Dr. Himla Sudian of the WITS MRC National Health Laboratory Service, and Dr. Jane Goodall DBE, founder of the Jane Goodall Institute. An impressive array of individuals. Coupled with a top-class selection of lectures, Sasol SciFest is an energy-packed program of fun, entertainment and exploration. The friendly city of Grahamstown was abuzz during the month of March when Sasol SciFest celebrated its 10th birthday with a program of nearly 700 events and over 40,000 visitors. One of the lecture highlights this year was Marius Berger, a hepatologist, who gave us a fascinating insight into his research on endangered frog species and the compilation of the Red Data book that was initiated 10 years ago. We spoke to him as well as several other contributors about the festival. Ten years ago, uh, when, the, when the first Sci Festival was launched, um, they asked me to talk about the Frog Atlas project. And that time it only, was only just launched and it's now, um, the book was published two years ago. And so I was a bit surprised that they phoned me again because they, at the moment there are even new and more exciting things happening. The Reptile Atlas or Reptile Conservation Assessment. Right, I'll be doing Good Vibrations as uh, one of the science shows in the Guy Butler. And it's a show that's all about how real science is by looking at different musical instruments. We've got some very interesting ones. A flute I play with my nose, a musical hosepipe, a musical duck. And just taking thousands of instruments from around the world, looking at them and saying, how do these make the sound? Uh, where do the vibrations come from? How is physics relevant to this? Our theme for this year is serendipity in science. So what we do is we try and bring accidental discoveries um, to the kids and tell them that science don't always work through method and you know full out thought processes that there are accidental discoveries that were made because of mistakes that scientists have made or thought they had made and you know struck a blackie in the end. I get a lot, a lot out of it because I end up interacting with students 
it's exciting to see the excitement and the enthusiasm that they have. And then for the learners, they get exposed to other careers that they might not normally get exposed to throughout their study life. So I mean, fish is an interesting um, study and South Africa having a, one of the largest coastlines it's a very good uh, career opportunity for many students. I'm a professor of astronomy at the University of Wisconsin. And so in Wisconsin is the largest of the international partners involved in the SALT project. And the, nice, the neat thing about it on a, a number of levels is we, we can do some great science. And the thing that I'm interested in is looking at the big questions of how galaxies evolve and how the universe has changed over 12, 13 billion years. If you look at the kids at SciFest, they're having a ball. Nobody needs to tell them to interact. Nobody needs to tell them to touch exhibits and play with them. Children do that naturally. And the, pro the problem with science is it's taught didactically. And children are expected to sit and listen to a lot of things that are relevant to their lives. Science is absolutely relevant to everything we do. And all we need to do is point those out to children. And I find children naturally just love science. But I think the other neat thing about it is the partnership that my university has developed with South Africa as a result of this collaboration. And we've got people across campus in health sciences and political science in African studies that are very excited about this partnership. And we're doing all sorts of things um, between the university and between South Africa. You know, when you do get a chance to actually attend a few of the events, learning about astronomy, learning about soapboxes, learning about engineering. So it really, for us, it's a growing experience as well. A key feature of Sasol SciFest is its remarkable diversity. So much so that many specialists from all around the world can't wait to be invited, just so that they can learn about things from so many other fields of interest. In addition to my presentations, I go around and I see what else is there, I look at the exhibitor stands, I look at other people's presentations, and I even get the chance to meet scientists from back home from the UK that I haven't actually got the chance to meet in the UK. I can actually meet them here, which, which may sound slightly crazy, but it's absolutely fascinating thing to do. But also, of course, it's a networking opportunity. There are lots of people who do very, very exceptional things here at, at SciFest in Grahamstown. And getting to speak to them and seeing what they do and sharing some of our experiences as a science communication community is also very, very important. I mean, I enjoyed, for example, um, seeing the bird flying people this morning. That was great, the raptor group. The Science Festival is so huge that it is impossible to be everywhere all at once, with 64 institutions, including 10 universities, engaging with prospective students. But the program is so cleverly designed that few things of common interest overlap. Another aspect of the design of Sasol SciFest is to take topical issues that all audiences can relate to and then discover the science inherent in that topic. From exploring the depths of the Titanic to unraveling the biology of dinosaurs, from designing your own star finder to a molecular view of sex, hormones and drugs, from crime fighting to finding hidden planets. For those interested in participating vocally, there are debates where issues are discussed in an open and honest fashion, such as how to manage elephant populations. It is, however, workshops that probably add the most value to the festival, for it is here that children and adults alike get down and do by getting their hands dirty and understanding that science is for everyone. Workshops such as making telescopes or windproof buildings or creating a suspension bridge, or a shockproof capsule to protect dropped eggs, or making chocolates, or micro rockets, or sending semaphore messages, or building intelligent Lego robots, or an electric motor, understanding lava lamps, and superconductivity. We chatted to some of the participants along the way. This is my first time. I come from Hanover. My kids are at school at Middleburg and Bloemfontein. I've taken them out of school this week to bring them down here. I came from Port Elizabeth with our school, Theodore Edsel. Every year we come with the school. Every year we come to the Science Fest because it's fantastic. Kids learn a lot. And this year we've had the opportunity of making these cars firsthand. They enjoy it. And we're doing a bit of everything. Soldering, working with the pliers. Dad putting the wire here with the battery here and it is going to start rotating. 
we've got two magnetic magnetic fields, yes. and we're trying to make this element spin. This is our first time. Our team, well, from, from our school, from our school they entered last, last year and they won. won. So we kind of pressure. pressure is on now. We're thinking about uh, using the thing about inertia. Yeah, maybe we're gonna have a maybe a larger driver. I don't know, but we still gotta decide on that. Um, we'll, p we'll put a nail in the end of the w of the um, wheel shaft. We just have to put in the wheels and spray paint. Yeah, that's all. Virtually every field of the sciences has some form of exposure at the festival, with the aim to show the youth how easily one can find one's niche career. As often as possible, the scientists themselves interact with the festival goers so that there is a symbiotic feedback for all participants. The festival also features demonstrations such as bat echolocation or glass blowing. The organizers pride themselves in the outreach program that takes selected workshops out to rural areas and also sees the training of postgraduate science students to host these events. A massively popular daily event is the Sunset Show, hosted by lively individuals who engage the audience with simple, clever and bright demonstrations of scientific novelty of facts. Sasso SciFest has been privileged to witness many talented individuals not only entertain the vibrant audience, but also give them something to think and talk about on their way home. One of the most phenomenal events that packs the main auditorium to capacity is the Sasso Laser Show that words find difficult to describe. Sasso SciFest, from interactive exhibitions, demonstrations and hands-on workshops to movies and evening lectures, there is something for absolutely everyone from ages 5 to 105. Total involvement, total commitment, total energy. The sum here is always greater than the parts due to the energetic love of exploring, discovering and understanding. With Sasso SciFest growing in stature year by year, it is no wonder that contributors are queuing to be counted in as special members of the scientific community. A community that cares and loves the quest for knowledge. Knowledge that broadens the mind and touches the lives of all. An insight that enables us all to reach new frontiers of awareness and scientific understanding in a festive way. Sasso, reaching new frontiers.